Okay, so the x I got the x over here. I saw for the x the y is handled is fine over there. So now I just simply integrate both sides. So that will be integrate this one, and I'll integrate. I'll write down the z term, which is one over twelve z to the power of four plus c naught. Okay, c naught is extremely important over here. Okay, you see why? Okay, now this becomes minus three y okay minus one times correct okay arbitrary constant again now my arbitrary constants restart okay so if i wrote c a over here it doesn't matter because now this this thing has already equals to c naught so i can start with c a treat this if you may as the temporary arbitrary constants because once i'm satisfied with the whole equation in its final form i will just try, um, put them in one side and just equals to c naught or c one so C A again, okay, equals to okay. Now I need to integrate that, okay. Z five, this will go Z five. So I need to bring a five underneath, and finally this will be sixty over here. So it's one over Z five, okay. Plus C not Z, okay. Plus C B. That's why this arbitrary constant is extremely important because now we are att attaching a variable to it. We are attaching Z to it. That's why it's extremely important. Okay, so now rearranging, let's see what I got. I put minus 3y is equals to, I'll bring this one over here just like how I did it before, okay, and I'll go 1 over 6d z to the power of 5, okay, plus c not z plus c1, okay, because now this arbitrary constant is taken up, I need to put 1 here. So these two, okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, okay, I'll just put a c, c, c first. Okay, you'll see why in a minute. Now I'm gonna divide everything by 60 because I want to isolate the y on one side. C C. So this is not the final one yet. Okay? So minus 3y is equals to 60. Okay, z5 plus this will be 60 c naught z. Okay, cancel plus 60 c c. Okay, and then bringing the y over and the 60 over the other side. The final result I will get on the final solution would be minus 180 divided by C5 plus 60 C naught Z. And I'm satisfied with this already, so I can put plus C1. Okay? Because this, like I said, is the temporary arbitrary constant. So 60 times C, C is the same as C1 in terms of just being constants. And there we go. Solving X, solving Y, and z okay in this case is just equals to z because we have we have written x and y in terms of z over here now just as a tip okay now you might be thinking you know why why don't i write in terms of z why don't i let x be x and write y and z in terms of in terms of x well then you could do that but the algebra will get a lot much a lot messier because of the z to the power of four and the z to the power of five you see it's much neater to write a variable to a power than to square root the whole thing. If I bring if I bring this thing over, I have to take the fourth root of c minus c naught and times that by twelve. So that becomes one big mess. Okay. Likewise for here and here more so because I got a z five and a z. So I need to somehow factor that, which I don't want to try and write in terms of x. So that's why. Try to write in terms of the variable which makes it makes the algebra bar much neater. Okay? And generally the variables that are raised to a higher power, you want to leave them as it is. Okay, so we have already solved the vector field, okay, and we have written the equation para parametrically as this, okay? C naught y is equals to y one minus one at z5 plus 60 c not z plus c1 and z is equals to z over here okay so basically you just think of a value of z so for example we'll find the value of z for this point over here okay or in other words we want to find the particle we want to find the equation of the particle or the position of the particle which follows the lines of force over here Okay, and that equation is given by these three x, y values over here. Okay, now we just want to complete the solution by finding the particle solution, the particular solution of 2, 1, and 6. 
Okay, so let's see what we have over here. When x is 2, z is 6. Okay, and I need to get a calculator for this. Cos 6 to the power of 4 is a big number. Okay, you divide that by 12. Okay, so it will be 2 equals to 1, 0, 8 plus c naught. c naught is equals to minus 1, 0, 6. Okay, and when y is 1, z is also 6. So 6 to the power of 5 plus 60 times minus 106 times 6. Okay, if you see this big number over here, and this is over minus 180. Okay, so C1, okay, I'll just quickly do it. C1 is minus 180, add up with 30384. Okay. 30204. Quite a funny number, quite a big number. So the particular solution is basically this. C naught is now minus 106, minus, sorry, minus 102. I made a mistake over here. Oh yeah, sorry, minus 106. Correct? And C1 is equals to 3004. And there we go. The particular solution of the lines of force which passes over here where the associated velocity vector is given by the vector field over here. This is the particular solution and that is how we solve something like this. Okay? Thanks.